In a realm teeming with enigmas around every corner, a National Geographic photographer has recently stumbled upon a bewildering rendezvous that will leave your jaw dropping. Plunging into the abyssal depths of the ocean, he came face to face with perplexing aquatic extraterrestrial entities. This gripping tale will snatch the air from your lungs and rattle the bedrock of your comprehension of the briny deep. A confounding encounter that transcends all rationale, it will propel you to the outermost boundaries of human exploration. Joe Rogan, an avid enthusiast of unearthing the unknown, has been captivated by the mystique and marvel of the ocean's uncharted depths, eloquently dubbing it a big, beautiful monster soup, a striking metaphor for the expansive and enigmatic realm encompassing over two-thirds of our planet. So, are you prepared to challenge your understanding of the ocean's mysterious depths? as we unveil the astounding details of this otherworldly encounter. Composed of brave scientists, ingenious researchers, imaginative photographers and daring adventurers, the National Geographic crew of marine specialists boldly ventures into the enigmatic depths of the ocean, harnessing the power of avant-garde technology. What undiscovered marvels and mysteries await these courageous explorers? On a recent subaquatic mission, seasoned underwater director of photography Louis Lamar experienced a breathtaking encounter that left him utterly spellbound. While scouring the ocean floor, he chanced upon what seemed to be a gathering of stingrays. However, as he inspected them more closely, he discerned that these creatures were nothing like he'd ever witnessed. Sporting, sleek, elongated bodies that navigated the water with unparalleled grace, these enigmatic beings boasted large, expressive eyes and emanated an ethereal luminescence. Their mesmerizing appearance and movements were reminiscent of mythical sea serpents from ancient folklore, yet their existence was unfolding right before Lamar's eyes. Lamar's fascination grew as he observed their never-before-seen behaviors, including a seemingly intricate form of communication an otherworldly fluidity in their movements that seemed to defy the very laws of physics. Could it be that Lamar had stumbled upon an extraterrestrial species, far surpassing human advancements in both physical prowess and intellectual capacity? What secrets do these beguiling creatures hold, and how will their discovery reshape our understanding of the vast oceanic world? The hyper-advanced aquatic alien entities that Lamar encountered seemed to defy all known natural laws with their extraordinary intellect, unparalleled anatomy, and unique characteristics. Lamar's captivating images and footage ignited a blazing whirlwind of controversy and debate amongst experts and researchers worldwide. Skepticism and fascination intermingled as news of Lamar's astonishing discovery spread. While some specialists swiftly dismissed the notion of underwater extraterrestrial as mere figments of Lamar's imagination, Others heralded the finding as a revolutionary revelation with the potential to redefine our understanding of the cosmos. To conclusively settle the dispute, an international team of experts convened to meticulously analyze Lamar's evidence. Devoting months to scrutinizing every frame, dissecting the being's movements, and examining each minuscule detail, the team ultimately arrived at a jaw-dropping verdict. These creatures were not of terrestrial origin exhibiting unmistakable signs of advanced intelligence, intricate communication systems, and technological sophistication surpassing our own, the aliens' existence sent shockwaves through the scientific world. Propelled into the media spotlight, the National Geographic team found themselves at the epicenter of global attention. As fame enveloped them, people from every corner of the Earth clamored to learn more about this astounding discovery. However, the underwater explorers realized that unearthing these alien beings was merely the tip of the iceberg. The ocean's enigmatic depths still harbored countless secrets. But Lamar's otherworldly encounter was not the only recent revelation to stun the scientific and military communities. In January, US nuclear submarines disclosed a report detailing their own encounters with an unidentified underwater object. What could these startling revelations mean for humanity? The baffling encounters were so otherworldly that they were deemed the aquatic equivalent of UFOs, now commonly referred to as USOs, or underwater submerged objects. These enigmatic occurrences were not confined to a singular region, 
Rather, they spanned across various parts of the globe, from the Arctic to the Baltic Seas. One particularly enthralling encounter detailed in the report involved an unnerving attack on a US submarine patrolling the North Atlantic. The vessel's sophisticated sonar system detected an object hurtling through the water at an astonishing speed of several hundred knots, a velocity comparable to a Formula One car racing on land, far outpacing any known underwater objects or animals. What could possibly explain these bewildering incidents? And what do they reveal about the hidden depths of our planet's waters? The mysterious object seemed to be aware of the submarine nearby and skillfully avoided it. This strange behavior made experts think that it could be a highly advanced underwater technology made by an unknown country or group, or even more fascinatingly, by alien beings from faraway galaxies. The object appeared to be made of a see-through material, which allowed observers to catch a glimpse of its complex inner parts. Despite the growing curiosity, the Navy personnel who reported these encounters have maintained a stoic silence about their experiences fueling rampant speculation that the military may be privy to more information than they are prepared to divulge to the public. As the frequency of USO encounter reports escalates, a growing number of experts are voicing concerns over the possible implications for global security. Should these enigmatic objects indeed be the handiwork of extraterrestrial beings experimenting with cutting-edge underwater technology? It could herald the dawn of a new age characterized by subaquatic espionage and military strife. The discoveries made by the NASA team at Russia's Lake Baikal were nothing short of astounding. As the world's deepest lake containing one-fifth of Earth's unfrozen fresh water, Baikal's largely unexplored depths are thought to harbor enigmatic species, some bearing an otherworldly resemblance to aliens. In fact, during the Soviet era, Numerous alleged sightings of UFOs and aliens around Lake Baikal circulated. Some speculated that the lake's enigmatic aura and remote location make it a hub for extraterrestrial activity, where aliens conduct experiments on humans and animals, all the while concealing their presence on Earth. But the intrigue surrounding this lake doesn't end there. One of the most captivating stories to emerge from Baikal involves a group of military divers sent on a top-secret mission to capture a creature known as the Itiander. According to local folklore, the Itiander is a half-boy, half-shark being that roams the lake's depths. The divers, clad in silvery, tight-fitting suits reminiscent of modern-day astronaut attire, were tasked with the monumental challenge of capturing this elusive entity. As they ventured deeper into the lake's icy waters, they suddenly encountered a group of humanoid figures, each towering at three meters tall, donned in similar silvery suits and helmets. These figures seemed perfectly at ease in the underwater realm. The divers attempted to communicate with the humanoids, but they remained silent. After a few tense moments, the mysterious beings vanished into the murky depths, leaving the divers astonished and perplexed. As the divers ascended towards the surface, they suddenly realized something was terribly amiss. Four of the seven divers began experiencing severe symptoms of decompression sickness, caused by a rapid ascent from deep waters. Despite their valiant efforts, three of the divers tragically lost their lives. The surviving divers reported their encounter upon returning to land. Their story was met with skepticism and disbelief. For years, the incident remained shrouded in secrecy, with authorities denying anything unusual had transpired. However, in 1982, two courageous photographers captured images of a peculiar glowing objects hovering above the lake's waters. These images, coupled with the diver's harrowing account, finally unveiled the truth about Baikal's enigmatic denizens. The incident has since stood as one of the most compelling pieces of evidence in the ongoing debate about the existence of extraterrestrial life and the hidden depths of our planet's water bodies. Could this extraordinary encounter at Lake Baikal provide the key to unlocking the secrets of extraterrestrial life? Delving into the enigmatic world of deep trenches, we find ourselves in one of the least explored territories on Earth, as mysterious as the dark side of the moon. These abyssal canyons plunge to such profound depths that they could effortlessly conceal an entire alien civilization, should one exist. As we continue to explore the unknown, it becomes clear that the deep ocean remains largely uncharted, and curiously, we seem to possess greater knowledge of Mars's surface than the enigmatic depths of our own ocean floor. Standing on the steep cliff of discovery, 
we may soon unveil the enigmatic secrets of the seafloor, shedding light on the alien creatures lurking beneath the waves. NASA has now teamed up with the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute, embarking on a thrilling journey to explore the ocean floor that descends thousands of meters beneath the surface. NASA's intrigue in these uncharted territories stems from their potential to mirror conditions found on distant celestial bodies. Brimming with curiosity and excitement, researchers are itching to delve into the enigmatic and uncharted realms of extreme and unfair environments, much like explorers venturing into the vast unknown during the Age of Discovery. Could these mysterious abysses be harboring life as we've never known it? In pursuit of answers, NASA is currently crafting Orpheus, a cutting-edge remote-operated vehicle equipped with navigation technology akin to the Mars Perseverance rover. This ambitious mission aims to chart the near-alien terrain of the ocean's deepest trenches, unveiling the secrets hidden within and potentially uncovering new life forms. These discoveries could offer invaluable insights into the origins of life, not only on Earth, but also throughout the cosmos. From the evidence gathered thus far, it's clear that the potential for groundbreaking discoveries in the deep sea trenches is monumental. This robust and collaborative mission is poised to become one of the most daring and momentous undertakings in the archives of oceanic exploration. Even more tantalizing, the rewards reaped from this expedition could revolutionize our understanding of life's origins. How might these findings transform the way we perceive our own planet and its place in the universe? As NASA embarks on this audacious journey, they also hope to ignite the passions of a new generation of explorers, bold, knowledge-driven individuals with the courage to push the boundaries of human comprehension and redefine our relationship with the planet we call home. In the wake of astonishing discoveries of life thriving in the frigid and extreme depths of our planet's oceans, scientists have begun to entertain a captivating notion. Could the origins of life on Earth and these otherworldly creatures be traced back to the subterranean depths of our world. Much like the skilled illusionist revealing the secrets behind their magic, these findings are transforming our understanding of life's tenacity. Some theories propose that extreme conditions found in areas such as the transition zone, a region within the Earth's mantle marked by intense pressure and heat, may have fostered the ideal environment for the first living organisms to evolve. Intriguingly, this idea has gained fresh momentum due to the recent findings of similar conditions elsewhere in our solar system. Could these seemingly inhospitable environments be cradles of life waiting to be discovered? On Jupiter's moon Europa, beneath a frozen surface lies a vast saltwater ocean, estimated to contain over twice the volume of water found in Earth's oceans combined. This revelation has led some scientists to speculate that Europa's ocean could be teeming with life, elevating it to one of the most promising targets in the search of extraterrestrial life. This fascinating possibility serves as a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life, demonstrating that even the most extreme and seemingly improbable conditions, compared to a desert blooming with life after a rare rainfall, life may find a way to flourish. Orpheus, poised to become the latest marvel in NASA's deep-sea exploration arsenal, is meticulously designed to plunge into the enigmatic Hadal zone and endure the extreme pressure and temperature fluctuations that would easily annihilate any conventional vehicle. How will it withstand such formidable challenges? NASA engineers have concocted a groundbreaking foam material, never before utilized, infused with microscopic glass spheres that provide an added layer of defense against the harsh conditions of the Hadal zone. These glass spheres are ingeniously designed to absorb and distribute the force of impact, rendering Orpheus astonishingly resilient, much like a superhero shield deflecting powerful blows. Another significant hurdle for the Orpheus team is ensuring the foam maintains its protective properties amidst extreme temperature changes. While the water at the bottom of the Hadal zone hovers just above freezing, temperatures near hydrothermal vents can soar to nearly 700 degrees Fahrenheit. To tackle this challenge, the foam is rigorously tested in a custom-built chamber that simulates the dramatic temperature fluctuations of the Hadal zone. If successful, this foam could potentially revolutionize deep-sea exploration, enabling scientists to probe even deeper and more inhospitable environments than ever before. However, the stakes are high for the Orpheus team, as they remain acutely aware of the perils that accompany deep-sea exploration. 
In 2014, a setback occurred when the nearest precursor to another deep exploration vehicle was lost due to a failure in its protective foam. Undeterred by this misfortune, the team is resolute in learning from the past and ensuring their vehicle is as secure and dependable as possible. Faced with the risks and evident obstacles, the Orpheus team's enthusiasm for delving into the Hadal Zone and potentially unearthing groundbreaking secrets about our planet's most enigmatic and uncharted depths remains unshakable. What are your thoughts on these aliens and creatures that have been discovered lurking in the depths of our planet's oceans?